So let's talk about ECDSA. So the private key in ECDSA is just a random number, a random scalar from within the finite field. And the public key is the scalar multiplication of this private key with a given generator. And the key pair is the scalar, is the private key, and the public key is the curve point Q. That is the secret key, the private key, times the generator. That's generator originates from the standard. So from my perspective, it's quite pointless to read out equations from a slide. So I'm just gonna give you the slides here so you can read up on how ECDSA actually computes its values. Here I just want to mention that the signature consists of two values. That is R, which is a X value of a curve point and S, which is a scalar value. And verification, the same thing. We calculate a curve point and then uh, we calculate it with the help of S and then we check if the X value of the computed curve point is equal to R. And if that's the case, the signature is valid. And as I said, I encourage you to go over these equations and check for yourself that it actually works out. But what you do in the end is mainly you compute, you get, you invert the S and then go back to the random nonce to make sure that you have computed the correct point. So I want to mention this random nonce here. This is a random value that is being used in every every signature needs a new random value. So this is a notation for drawn at random from this group here. And this group is the, if you remember, the order, this n is the order of the generator point from the standard. So we need a fresh k, a new k for every signature we compute. 